Greetings, brothers and sisters. God bless each and every one of you today. Hope everybody's doing well. Again, if you are subscribed to this channel, we are watching for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2.13, looking for that blessed hope in the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus is coming soon, and we're going to be watching on this channel. Again, we are not going to set dates because we do not know when that day is, but we very clearly see that day approaching, and we will be watching on this channel until the trumpet sounds at the appointed time, and Jesus Christ comes for his church. Folks, I want to discuss the news that just came out uh, overnight last night, actually. I heard about it from many of you, and then I looked into it. Uh, this is recently in from Haaretz, many other places reporting on it. Alleged Israeli airstrike near Damascus kills two Syrian soldiers. The target of the attack, reportedly carried out by Israel, was a Hezbollah facility just outside the capital, according to a Syrian opposition group. So overnight, last night, Israel launched an airstrike near Damascus, Syria, that killed two Syrian soldiers. Now, why is this so significant? Well, folks, in case you haven't noticed, in 2022, there has been over 30 Israeli airstrikes inside Syria. And a majority of these airstrikes have been surrounding or near Damascus, Syria. And why are a majority of these Israeli airstrikes inside of Syria? Why are the targets mainly surrounding uh, Damascus, Syria? Because Damascus has become a, a hub of terror that Iran and its proxies use to move weapons around. They distribute weapons uh, around the Damascus area to use against Israel. And here's another fact for you. Did you know that just in 2022 alone, there was over, not only was there over 30 uh, Israeli airstrikes inside of Syria in 2022, a majority of them surrounding Damascus, Syria, but there was also over 30 Iranian cargo planes that landed at Damascus International Airport in 2022 so far. And what's on those planes? What's on those Iranian cargo planes that are landing in Dam at, at Damascus International Airport? Make no mistake about it. It's weapons to give to Hezbollah and the other proxies of Iran to use against Israel. But why is this so significant? We keep talking about Damascus. Why is it so significant that we keep seeing these airstrikes and this activity occurring near Damascus, Syria? Well, I'll tell you why. Over 2,500 years ago, the prophet Isaiah records in the book of Isaiah, chapter 17, verse 1, the following. The burden of Damascus. Behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. So very clearly here in Isaiah chapter 17, verse 1, this is a prophecy that is coming that talks about the destruction of Damascus. Now, you'll see a lot of people say, well, this prophecy has already been fulfilled. And you're allowed to have your opinion, but I disagree with that. And this is why. Damascus is one of the oldest inhabited cities in the entire world. In fact, there are subscribers on this very channel that live inside of Damascus, Syria, or just uh, on the outskirts outskirts of Damascus, Syria. And there is very bad, there is parts of Damascus that are in bad shape. However, Damascus is still habitable. There is still people that live and travel and move through Damascus, Syria. However, this prophecy in Isaiah chapter 17, verse 1, very clearly says that a time is coming, again, Isaiah chapter 17, verse 1, the burden of Damascus, behold, Damascus is taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. Not parts of it are going to be destroyed. Damascus is going to be taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. So not only does the prophet Isaiah tell us that Damascus will become a ruinous heap, it actually tells you when you read the whole chapter in context, Isaiah chapter 17, it tells you when it will become a ruinous heap. When you go to Isaiah chapter 17 and you go down to verse 14, we read the following. And behold, at evening tide trouble, and before the morning he is not. This is the portion of them that spoil us and the lot of them that rob us. Behold, at evening time trouble, 
and before the morning he is not. So something is going to occur overnight in Damascus, Syria, that is going to cause it to no longer be a city. It is taken away from being a city, and it shall be a ruinous heap. Now, what's going to cause Damascus, what's going to cause it to be taken away from being a city? What's going to cause it to become a ruinous heap? I'm not 100% dogmatic on that, um, but here's what I can tell you. If we know that Iran and its proxies are using Damascus, Syria as a hub of terror to move its weapons around, if we know uh, these Iranian cargo planes, that there's over 30 of them in 2022 so far, that have landed at Damascus International Airport to distribute weapons to Hezbollah and the other proxies and enemies of Israel to use against Israel. If we know they're using Damascus for this, and we've had generals come out, you can research this, we've had generals actually come out and say that there is nuclear material underground in Damascus, Syria. It is only a matter of time before something gets hit that's not supposed to get hit, whether it's an Israeli airstrike that hits something we know. Um, Iran keeps saying that, you know, there's reports that they already have enough enriched uranium for several nuclear bombs now. Some are saying that it's uh, just around that time. And we know uh, Benjamin Netanyahu is back. He's back as prime minister of Israel. And he said his number one priority is making sure that the Iran problem gets taken care of. We know he's talked about his plans to take out Iran's nuclear facilities. But also, if Netanyahu wants to take care of Iran, we know where Iran's moving its weapons through. Iran is using Damascus, Syria as a hub to move these weapons around, uh, possibly nuclear material, to get to Hezbollah and the other proxies of Iran to use against Israel. So just to recap again real quick, we know according to scripture in Isaiah chapter 17 uh, that a time is coming when Damascus will be taken away from being a city. It shall become a ruinous heap. Scripture says that. I love my brothers and sisters in Christ in Damascus, Syria, and that are around there. And I don't want this to happen, but the Bible says this will happen. And if we know just in 2022, there was over 30 Israeli airstrikes inside of Syria, a majority of them surrounding Damascus, Syria, and that over 30 Iranian cargo planes landed at Damascus International Airport in 2022 to distribute weapons to Hezbollah and the other proxies of Iran to use against Israel. We know generals have came out and said that there is nuclear material underground in Damascus, Syria. We know Benjamin Netanyahu is back. And he said his number one priority this time is making sure that Iran does not get a nuclear weapon. He's made, he's made very clear his plans to take out Iran's nuclear facilities and take care of the Iranian problem. And we know the, one of the biggest problems is what they're moving through, uh, what they're moving through Damascus, Syria. You connect all of those dots, folks. Here's what we're seeing here. It is only a matter of time before something gets hit in Damascus, Syria, and this prophecy will be fulfilled. And I'm not sitting there and saying that Damascus, this prophecy will be fulfilled in 2022 or next year in 2023. I'm connecting the dots on what I've seen the last couple years, and now the Netanyahu's back. Folks, this is a prophecy we could go to, if, if you're over in that area, you could go to bed tonight and wake up, and this prophecy could be fulfilled. But the bottom line is this. If you're watching this video right now and you don't have Jesus Christ in your life, just look around this world right now at everything occurring and look at what your Bible says. You will see several things are true. The Bible is real. The Bible is alive. Jesus is real. Jesus is alive. And Jesus is coming back. And he is coming back one day very, very, very soon. This current world order, it is sinking and it is sinking fast just like the Titanic. You need to get on the lifeboat right here and right now. That lifeboat is Jesus Christ and him alone. I'm not telling you to get religious. I'm telling you, you can be saved right here, right now, as you're watching this video. Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. What do you have to do to be saved? Well, the gospel of your salvation is found in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1 to 4. Believe. You're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. The sin debt that you could never pay on your own. Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross, so you could be reconciled back to him 
forgiven of your sins and be with them forever in heaven. So you're believing Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. That's the gospel of your salvation. If you're still confused, here's the bottom line. Every single one of us is a sinner. We all miss the mark. We all fall short of the glory of God. And our sin separates us from a holy, a just, and a perfect God. But God loves you so much that he would come down. He would be born of a virgin. He became flesh. He dwelt among us. And he was brutally tortured and crucified and shed his precious blood for you on that cross at Calvary. Again, the sin that, that you could never pay on your own, Jesus Christ paid it in full with his blood on the cross so you could be reconciled back to him, forgiven of your sins, and be with him forever in heaven. That is love, my friends. That is love. But the bottom line is this. Heaven and hell are very real, literal places, and you will spend an eternity in one of those destinations. Hell's a real place. It's eternal torment. It's eternal separation from God. I don't want you to go there. Jesus does not want you to go there. But if you die without Jesus Christ, you will be separated from God for eternity in hell. And I am going to tell you the truth because I love you. Jesus Christ is the only way to the kingdom of heaven. And he's the only name that can save you. I am begging you. I am imploring you to get saved right now. Put your faith in your trust in the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and he rose again. He resurrected on the third day as it is written in the scriptures. And do it now because tomorrow is not promised. And make no mistake about it. Jesus is coming and he is coming one day very, very, very soon. Keep looking up. Keep watching with me and God bless you all.